All right, uh, Blair and Joel, nice work here going uh, second and third behind teammate uh, James Lamb at the Pioneer AK and Provincial Championships. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good day out there. Yeah, good race. Yeah. Uh, nice to come over. Most of the ferries were cancelled, so we uh, came over last night and ended up working out. So it's a good day. Oh, okay. You came over last night just to make sure because the ferries yeah. may not have been running? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I think the last couple of days, a bunch of the morning ones were cancelled, so we were scared that potentially today would be, but... Yeah. Um, I guess the only ferry that wasn't cancelled was the 9, which we were going to take, so yeah. everyone got here, so that was out. Yeah. always nice. It's a little better when everyone's racing, so... Yeah, now you're living back in Nanaimo? Uh, no, I'm, I'm still, uh, still in Langley, so still training with Bromba, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So. Yeah, yeah. All right, so going into this race, um, what were your expectations? I, I don't think we had too much expectations. We're just mainly been training through, and we're going to do a half marathon, in, I guess, next month. Yeah. So uh, we figured this would be a good tune-up race, and we just come here and test the legs out. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we really had too much of a race plan, um, but it slowed down a bit from the gun, so we decided to see if we could you know, get a good a effort bit, in. and. Yeah. We formed a good group at the front, and luckily everything kind of worked out. There wasn't too much blow up or anything, so yeah. yeah. The way ja uh, James Lamb was describing it was, it, it sounded like it was uh, um, one group picking on poor Braden Charlton from the Thunderbirds, uh, a competitor over in the Lower Mainland. Were you guys doing that whole Kenyan Ethiopian uh, team up on him? I wish we were that smart. I, but, I, I, don't, know. Know. I don't know if that, if that was the intention. I think, but. I think maybe that's what James was doing, but I think me and I think when we first made a break, James told us that he didn't even want to go with us because we blow up. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we I think we were going back. Yeah, in, I so. think we had to kind of make plans as we went, but. Um, yeah, with the there's a bit of wind on the back straight, so it did actually help having a group. Um, I think around 4k, we were talking to each other, saying if we were together, it'd be a lot easier. We'd probably keep the pace, so it did end up working like that. But yeah. I don't yeah. think we really had a plan going into it at the no, beginning. It was just, yeah. I think it was just get out there, have fun, just get a good yeah. solid effort in, and test the legs. Exactly. Uh, it's, so. it's January, so just yeah. see, see. And what it was you. snow on the mainland. So we were just happy to be on clear roads and, yeah. um, you know, the next couple of weeks, are, I think the next 10 days are snow in yeah. Langley. So if we don't get um, any good work, at least we'll have this in the leg. So. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Great stimulus. Uh, like you say, you're, what, a few weeks away from, and which half the marathon is that you're talking about? The, the first half. First half. First so half we're going to, yeah, so we're going to do that. Uh, we have some other teammates running it. Yeah. Caleb Dijon's going to do it. Uh, he's actually in really good shape right now. Um, Ryan Hayden is going to do it with us, so he'll be suited up. And who else? Is gonna, originally, Nathan Widwani was going to do it, but he had some injuries at the end of cross country. Uh, me and Joel will do it. Ron Lowen will do it. Yeah. So we'll have a group of six or seven probably out there. So Should that's be been the, the main thing. And then main. hopefully after that, me and Joel might try to find a 3K or something. But yeah. uh, we don't have any too many track PRs in the last couple of years, so it's hard to find meets. Yeah. We're yeah. thinking maybe we'll go to Cologne or something. But I think yeah. the main thing for this winter is going to be the, the half marathon. Uh, I ran one a couple years ago. It didn't go too well. And then Joel's never done the never, distance. He'll so be my debut. He'll so. make his debut. But we've been mainly doing that type of training. So... Uh, James has been doing 5k 5k work um, so we were both I think both of us were coming from different sides but um, so I think this actually fared really well for me and Joel because yeah, think what we, yeah what we run here is going to be easy to translate to the longer distances yeah okay so uh, James is saying Blair that um, I think uh, a kilometer in or something like that you just took over took the yeah. lead and we're pulling the guys along a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. What was the tactic there? That's quite early, obviously. Totally. Um, so I think at about a K, we went through around three minutes flat. Yeah, it was three minutes flat. Three minutes flat. And then based on what we've been doing in training, that seemed about the right pace for 8 to 10K work. Yeah. Um, well, then it kind of slowed down. It kind of slowed down a bit at about a mile. Yeah. And at that point, it was like we had come all the way here. Um, legs weren't feeling too bad. So no one was really making a move. I think everyone was just waiting on each other. And... I, you know, what do you do at that point? You just jump to the front. The, the bike was a little slow, so I actually got a little bit of a draft on him. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it doesn't block the camera out too much. I think they were filming the race. But, yeah. uh, and then at that point, I saw Joel jumped on the back with me. Oh, yeah. um, and then from there, we just worked together, so that was perfect. And then I think James was saying to us at that point, 
he was saying he he thought he, we were going to go go backwards and go and back then to the he group, had to abandon his race plan and yeah. crawl back up and at that point we could work together so yeah um, so we had a nice little group up yeah behind, it, was, so. it was good it was just like practice yeah, so yeah, sure. it was like a, a really hard tempo and at yeah. the end just try to keep the legs together yeah yeah so joel i noticed that you do some uh, mountain biking uh, especially oh, yeah. at home so yeah. uh is that getting in the way of some of your mileage you did end up third overall <laughs> Uh, I, I've, I've kind of had to put my, my mountain biking ambitions on the back burner for for a while and uh, going to give a, a solid effort running for a year then this next year. So we'll, we'll, we'll probably stay off the bike for a bit. and, and uh, Let's explore that a little bit. Why the next year? What specifically are you uh, gearing up for? I, I, I took a bit of time off in the summer just because I was burnt out from running. And so... Uh, and then Blair convinced me to do cross country one more time and then it just fired me up and then I didn't have the result at cross country nationals I wanted so I was like ah let's commit to at least another year see how it goes and uh, I think I can do pretty well cross country nationals because I've always been a crossy guy so and uh, Joel was doing in the summer he was mountain biking quite a bit and he came up with me to the, do the grouse grind yeah. and he so he did that in 27 minutes just jogging yeah. and he was doing no running so yeah. i said to him you have to get running man like yeah um, i think yeah so he's yeah. gonna do it for a year and if he gets yeah. some pbs maybe it'd be two years yeah we'll so see we'll, we'll see we're just we're just playing it like race to race and seeing how it goes and just try have fun and see what happens and so yeah Okay, well, uh, great work here today, going one, two, three, and then you had another teammate there in the top ten, yeah, I think, Ron, as well. Yeah, uh, Ron Lowen, yeah, twenty-second PB. Yeah, uh, he's around here somewhere, but yeah, yeah, he did really well. Yeah, and he's gonna do the first half of this as well, so this will be a good tune-up for him. Yeah. And, oh yeah, and and let's have a look at that kit, Blair. Uh, I don't know if uh, Joel's still wearing his. Or? Oh, uh, I, I still got mine on. Oh yeah, Langley we, Mustangs. We're still wearing the yeah, speed the, suits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We got a, every guy in the club has one now, so yeah. we're trying to kind of, you know, get our own niche in the running community. So maybe we can get some more people in them, some other clubs can start yeah. wearing them. I heard there's another club wanting to get them, but we got them first. We so pulled the trigger, so we'll Yeah, we pulled be, the trigger. We'll be the OG. We'll be the original speed suit clan. Yeah. And did you take out the, lot, the final 30 or something like that so no one else can get that design? Uh, I don't know. We just we had a connection in the UK, and they told us they could give us about 20 of them. So yeah. oh, okay. we just kind of jumped on it, and luckily yeah. with that many, it brought the brought the cost down. And yeah. it's you know if, if there's something that everyone has that's unique, it kind of brings the team together. So just another fun aspect of totally. Right. Yeah, so. it's kind of out there, and people yeah. it's it's recognizable. So yeah, yeah, exactly. You can see your teammates are in the race. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, for sure, and it it did, it did evoke that that sort of team thing totally. with uh, going yeah. one two three. It's like yeah. oh, they're all on the same team. Surprisingly yeah. warm too. Oh, they, so they, they're they, good for winter they, running. They they, they honestly feel way yeah. better than running just in regular yeah. shorts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like back in the day, the sprinters wore split shorts. So then the distance runners kind of took back over that, and now we'll take over the speed suits. Maybe we can get a little reverse <laughs> yeah. or something. But it's nice to have the club. You know, has something going on. Yeah. But starting a new trend here. Starting a new trend. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you guys started right here. <laughs> Let it be known. Exactly. Anyway, uh, congratulations on the great run today, and good luck at the first half half in February. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Been in splendid isolation. It doesn't look like he's got anyone on his shoulder. So we're coming up to the 2020 championships here, and this is number 14. Let's hear it for James Lamb from Abbotsford. He was seventh in the BC Cross Country Championships. James Lamb across the line, unofficially 24-22. In second place, number 11, Jordan Shifford. Great run there from that young man who was fourth in the BC Championships. And here is our third place finisher. If race day timing could come to the finish line, please. Number 12 across the line. Great run in there from Jordan Shifford. You can see them wearing the same outfit, the same, same kits, sponsored by the same company. They run together and train together.